ChatGPT just launched three brand new features that are absolute game changers. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what they are, how to use them, and a bunch of different use cases that are gonna help increase your productivity. Okay, so this first new feature is going to be study and learn right here. Now this is really cool. Basically what this does is it changes how ChatGPT works. It's going to get ChatGPT to also ask you questions in addition to actually showing you things. For example, you could get it to help you with your homework. You could get it to explain a topic to you. You could get it to create a practice quiz. I'm going to get it to create a practice quiz. So I'm going to say over here, create a practice quiz. It says, got it, but let's actually tailor this quiz. So what do I want to learn about? I want to learn about creating AI agents with make.com. So I could tell it that, and then I could say that I am looking for multiple choice or something specific. So we could come over here and we can see that it gives me question number one, question number two, question number three, question number four, and question number five. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm probably going to get a lot of these wrong because I just randomly did this. So this right here says I answered A, the correct answer is C. So if we come over here, question number two, it says, B, I actually got this correct. The next one, I didn't get correct. I did get this one correct, and I didn't get this correct. So I got two out of five of these correct. Two answers were very close or partially right, and one was a great guess but the wrong module. So it says, want to keep practicing? I can make a round two, or we can build with a walkthrough. So I'm going to say, please help me understand things that I got wrong. Now, I'm gonna change please over here. And essentially, as you can see, this now goes back and forth with you and ChatGPT. One other thing that I would strongly suggest that you do, if you're going to use this study feature, I would make sure that you use voice mode for this or you use your phone so that you can share your screen with ChatGPT or you can show ChatGPT what you're seeing. This is going to make this way more interactive. And the reason that this feature is so powerful is because now you have a tutor and can learn anything 24 seven. And guess what? You could tell ChatGPT how you learned. You could tell ChatGPT to adjust things and this is going to keep getting better and better and better. And I wanna be clear. I don't think that this is going to replace teachers, but I do think this is going to be an augmentation to teachers. Now, if you really want to learn something, you can learn it 24 seven. So if we open up a new chat right here and we come over to study and learn, we can also say, explain a topic to me. And then we could tell it exactly what that topic is. For example, why geysers happen in Yellowstone. Now what's going to happen is this is going to explain to me exactly what it is, but first it is going to ask me a question. Do you see how much more interactive this is than just regular ChatGPT? This is a lot more of going back and forth so that you actually learn things. And by the way, the way that this works is that study mode in ChatGPT is designed to be interactive using Socratic questioning and scaffolding responses to help guide users. And as you can see, it's available right now to logged in free plus pro and team users with availability to ChatGPT EDU coming in the next few weeks. Now, before I get into the next two features, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Now, the next new feature I wanted to show you is going to be something that you're going to have to get the ChatGPT desktop app in order to use. Now, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to come over here into settings and then come over here and scroll down and you are going to see suggestions right here. This is incredibly helpful. You wanna make sure autocomplete is turned on. You wanna make sure trending searches is turned on and you wanna make sure follow-up questions is turned on because now what's going to happen when we open up a new ChatGPT window and we don't have anything typed in or we type something in, it's going to begin to give us suggestions. For example, I'm gonna say things to do in Yellowstone, Wyoming. And then what's going to happen is this is now going to give me an answer right here and suggest other things that I can actually go through and begin to ask this. And what this does is actually helps ChatGPT guide you to learning more 
figuring out better things, and prompting ChatGPT better. So what this actually does is when it actually gives you an answer now, it will now come over here and it will say things like, if you want tailored ideas or a guided tour, just let me know. Now, sometimes it just ends the prompt with an automatic suggestion, or sometimes it will actually fill in the next things that you should say here, which is pretty cool. I've seen it happen both ways, but turning this feature on is incredibly useful. In addition to that, the other thing that you will begin to notice if you turn this feature on is that if you come to ChatGPT on your phone, it will begin to actually give you a bunch of different prompts here. For example, this is what this actually looks like on my phone right here. We could see all of these automatic prompts, which are going to be things that are trending on ChatGPT or automatic suggestions as a result of the things that I've actually asked ChatGPT. And you're going to notice that this continues to happen over and over again. And basically, this just makes a way more curated experience on ChatGPT because now it's auto-suggesting you and it's a lot more of a relationship as opposed to you just asking ChatGPT things or giving ChatGPT things. It's also responding back to you and allowing the follow-up question. Okay, now the next set of features is actually gonna be several different features that ChatGPT has recently made a bunch of different changes to. Some of these might not be exactly brand new, but they have been changed. Okay, now those final few features. Again, if we come over into ChatGPT using the desktop app, you are gonna see this record feature right here. This allows you to record meetings, to record things that are going on on ChatGPT. And once we click on stop right here, we can resume or we could send this into ChatGPT so that it has full context into your meetings, into your recordings, and all things like that. And as we could see, this also gives an overall summary, key points, action items, open questions, and will remember things. And as we can see right here, this is another one of the ways that ChatGPT actually auto-suggests right here. Sometimes it just does it straight in the prompt, like I showed you earlier, or it'll do things like this, which is incredibly useful. Now, in addition to that, if we come over here, you're also going to see that we can now click on this right here. This opens up apps. Right now, it lets us use notes, script editor, terminal, and text edit, so we can actually have ChatGPT access these apps if we wanted to. In addition to that, if you come over into your settings in ChatGPT, you are now going to see connectors. They just upgraded this and gave us more connectors and connectors have access to more things. For example, it used to just be deep research, but now agent mode can also access my Gmail. Or if I come over to Google Drive, chat, Deep Research and Agent Mode can access my Google Drive. If I come over to my calendar, Deep Research and Agent Mode. So you need to come into all these different things that you have set up and see what it actually works with on ChatGPT because like I said, they have recently upgraded this. Now, in addition to that, you're also going to see schedules under here. This is where you're now going to be able to see things that you have scheduled out. And I do want to warn you because if we come over here and say, please schedule out a reminder to go through my email at 9 a.m. every day, and we just ask ChatGPT 4.0 this, this says you're all set, I've scheduled out a reminder, but guess what? it didn't actually schedule out a reminder because it didn't actually show me that it did. What you need to be doing now is coming into O4 Mini and then giving this prompt to O4 Mini. You'll see that this now thinks and it actually creates the task and you can see whether or not you the task was actually created down here. Now for this specific thing, I've actually exceeded my task limit. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna delete this and I'm going to delete this. And I'm gonna come over here and say in a new chat, again, O4 Mini, I'm gonna do this and you'll be able to see that it actually creates the task. So this went through, it thought and created the task right here. Again, when I just asked regular ChatGPT that, it didn't actually go through and did it. It told me that it created the task, but it didn't actually create the task because it wasn't showing up for me. And again, this isn't necessarily a new feature, but it's a new way for you to be able to interact with this new feature on ChatGPT because they completely changed how it works and 
how you access it. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is gonna replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs, or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now, so if you wanna stay ahead of what's happening in AI, and you wanna learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through 10 hidden Gemini features I bet you didn't know existed. I'll see you over there.